first type of waste here is transportation and when i say transportation that means unnecessary transportation moving things from one place to another place not only raw material or finished product but this also includes documentation this also includes information so anything which moves from one place to another place unnecessary is a waste because not only it wastes the time and effort of people but then there are possibilities of damages missing things so anything which you could do to avoid unnecessary transportation will be a saving will be elimination of waste so look into your system and see when you have unnecessary transportation this unnecessary transportation could be avoided by putting things together if your machines or the processes are clubbed together are nearby then you don't need to move your material from one place to another place so eliminating transportation is one way to eliminate waste the second type of waste we have here is inventory inventory is the material which is parked and having no value added to them so inventory could be the material which you received recently the material probably which is on its way from the supplier to your place that's also inventory because you might have already paid for that then the material gets stored before it starts processing so that is also inventory then you have some material which is work in process when the machining is ongoing or when the processes is ongoing that is also inventory and the next type of inventory would be your finished product your products which have been made and ready for shipment but client has not paid for that so in all these cases your cash is bound in the inventory you have less cash in the organization for doing other things because your cash is tied up in the inventory so the one problem with inventory is your cash gets tied up so your cash flow gets reduced that's one aspect of that but in addition to that there are other complications such as for inventory you need some storage place so the warehouse which you have the rent of that or the cost of that warehouse that's also cost of inventory once you store the material then you need to preserve that as well time to time you need to maintain that as well so that's another loss because of inventory so you have waste due to storage storage of material you have waste due to preserving the material and then in spite of all these things there will be waste because of something will get deteriorated things will go bad so you might have to discard that some of the components might get rusted so you will have to throw them away that's another type of waste another problem with the inventory is if you have more inventory then your problems get hidden in those inventory items for example if you have three processes process 1 process 2 process 3 so process 1 if something goes wrong and you have inventory which is the output of process 1 and this inventory is lying in front of process 2 so anything between process 1 and 2 whatever material is lying there is your work in process inventory so if something goes wrong with the process 1 and there is a huge inventory between these two processes probably you might not know the problem sooner if there is a less inventory there is a chance that problem will be known immediately but if there is more inventory chances are that problem might not get immediately noticed so the operator 2 has hundreds of pieces in front of him so operator 2 if operator 2 finds some problem with one of the pieces you know what this operator might pick another piece and start working on that without even informing that there is a problem so that way less inventory is always good because your problem there is less chance of your problem gets hidden in the system 
So you have seen that there are a lot of problems with the inventory. So this is one of the big waste. Reducing inventory should be one of your key effort to improve quality of your product. Previously, we talked about transportation or unnecessary transportation as one of the waste. The difference between transportation and motion is transportation is movement of material from one place to another place. Motion is the movement of the person or the operator or the parts. So if an operator has to stretch to pick an item every time the person processes, then that's motion waste. This might take for the operator to bend for a second and pick that part and assemble that. But consider having thousands of pieces done hourly or maybe daily, then that much time is wasted in picking that part or wasting that one second. So things get multiplied. So even if you think that something is taking one second, but if you are doing something over and over again, it adds up. So removing motion waste is helpful one way in reducing the time to process something. But on the other hand, it makes the life of the operator easy, less stressful. One way to eliminate motion waste is applying 5S. So 5S is something which is a Japanese approach to keep things tidy, keep things approachable. So operator has everything within his or her approachable range. So look for the way how to eliminate unnecessary motion of operator. Might look smaller at the first look, but it adds up. So the fourth item in the list of seven wastes is waiting time. So if you are waiting for your inputs, operator number two is waiting for operator number one to finish his or her job so that operator number two can start the job, that's waiting. Waiting is a loss. It's an unproductive thing. So the worker who is waiting for things to come cannot do anything productive during the process. So that's a waste. So waiting could be for material. Waiting could be for information also. Waiting could be for documentation. So all these waiting times need to be eliminated from the system. So waiting time is a loss of productivity and that in fact will increase the cost of production. The fifth type of waste is over-processing. Over-processing is doing something which customer is not expecting, customer doesn't need that, customer doesn't care about. So anything which you do for which customer is not willing to pay, customer is not interested in that, that's over-processing. So to avoid over-processing, Listen to the voice of your customer. What does your customer want? Because anything which you do over and above what customer doesn't care about, then that is a waste. You may call this as a gold plating or doing something which is out of the way. But then, end of the day, customer doesn't care about that. If customer doesn't care about that, it's a waste. The sixth type of waste is overproduction. Overproduction is something which is produced above and beyond the customer demand. So if you are producing too much, this is a much bigger problem because this particular problem will lead to number of other problems as well. For example, when you overproduce, you will have more inventory. So more inventory means more money will be tied up in the inventory and you will have less money to do many other things. So that's one thing. Then if you have overproduction, then you will be wasting in transportation also because for stacking, uh, storing, you will need transportation. Overproduction could lead to defects as well. So when you are overproducing, many times your defect will not be visible people will be less bothered to make things right. So make sure whatever you produce, you produce based on the customer demand rather than doing overproduction because things will get obsolete. Things will get rusted. Things will get deteriorated when you store them. 
they will be out of fashion by the time customer wants them there are number of problems related to overproduction so make sure that this is the waste you should be really focusing on produce only what customer needs the seventh type of waste is defects so any defect either because of the process problem or because of the human problem all those defects need to be reworked upon so anything which you rework on them is a waste of time waste of effort number of times if your defect is beyond repair then you have to discard the product so that's another loss and if for some reason your defects get unnoticed in your system and passes on to the client you will have a unsatisfied client your customer will not be happy having a defective product so you need to eliminate all the defects which you have in your system in your processes so conventionally when we were talking of types of defects there were seven types of defects the acronym for that was tim wood but later in the recent development if eighth type of waste is also added in the list which is unexploited knowledge the knowledge and power of people if it is not exploited fully that's a waste human resource is the biggest resource in most of the companies so if companies are not able to use that resource properly that's a waste so make sure that you utilize the best of every staff every employee you have see what best you can make use of those people because people are willing to do things but it depends on how much the management how much the organization is asking them to do how much freedom the organization is giving them how much training and development efforts companies are doing to make sure that their employees do things best so not using the talent and knowledge of your employees is the eighth type of waste so with this we finish the type of wastes go through them few more times whatever work you are doing probably if you have this list in mind you will see that number of things you were doing were having wastes built into that it might take you a little bit of time to understand what's going wrong and what are, what is the waste because many times any activity which you have been doing for years together you might not agree that those activities were wastes these were wastes because these were not adding value to the client so with these things in mind with a fresh look go through your work processes and see what are the wastes what are the non value added activities which could be either reduced or totally eliminated just doing this might give you a lot of benefit in your work processes you can do your things faster you can do things better you can do things safer 